Oh, what the dickens? I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hi. I am so excited to have you here. It's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. I can't keep it in any longer. You've probably seen by the title of this video what this is. Welcome to the unveiling of a secret project that Carolyn and I have been working on for a very long time and that honestly has had like its inception in the nuggets of our lives for basically our whole lives and here we are i'm so excited that this is finally like a thing i can share with you guys i have so much to talk about i'm gonna try not to dawdle on about random stuff regarding this announcement but um i'm just really really excited about it and i know she is too so let's just get right into this announcement video this is a new book club that Carolyn and I have started where, as you may have guessed by the title, we read exclusively works by Charles Dickens and Leo Tolstoy. Oh wait, let me get them. Let me get them. Here we go. In one corner, <laughs> we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Dickens. Um, these are also designed by Carolyn, which yeah, of course they are because they're beautiful. And in the other corner, coming in with like thousands of pages we have leo tolstoy on anna Karenina. yes so this is going to be a book club where every single month we read a work from either tolstoy dickens or tolstoy uh some months of course we've had to double up because we know they have chunky works in both of their corners and carolyn and i along with the help of you guys are going to debate who is the better 19th century author. Now, Carolyn and I have gone on really similar, almost like creepily parallel journeys with both of these authors. And it's just like honestly really connected our lives and our friendship, which is so incredible. The first time I ever talked to Carolyn, I guess in person, I had just finished reading Anna Karenina and she was just literally picking up Anna Karenina, which is now, I think it's safe to say her favorite book of all time and from there we both just got so obsessed with each of their works we would literally skype for hours um, and hours talking about their works and then in the spring of this year i read my first dickens book great expectations and a week later carolyn started great expectations and she adored it we had also both been huge fans of this video which i'll link up above, I guess, and down below, which is an actual live debate with real certified <laughs> experts, professors, debating on stage for an audience who is better, Dickens or Tolstoy. We adore it. We've watched this video so many times and we thought it would be literally the most fun thing ever to kind of take it upon ourselves to make our own book club centering around the same idea, but reading every single one of their works. As you can probably imagine, getting through both of these authors' complete works is going to take a very long time, and we actually sat down. And I kid you not, we have a four-year plan. Welcome to the four-year plan to read all of Dickens and Tolstoy by the end of 2024. We're, we're in it for the long haul. We've signed our lives away and um, we're very excited to offer you that same contract and opportunity to take this journey with us and to, in the end, see who will reign victorious. Dickens and Tolstoy have actually always been the two biggest classical authors that I, for basically my whole life, have been so afraid to read and it wasn't until 2020 that I really got into Dickens. I don't really know why, but for my whole life, whenever I thought of like a great work of classical English literature, Charles Dickens was always the first author that popped into my head and he was the scariest because I thought for so long that I could never read his works because they were so long, I wouldn't understand them, they were too dry or boring or I just wouldn't appreciate them. But then I stepped foot into Great Expectations and all of that was complete rubbish and I had the best time of my life and we really just want to create this book club as well to encourage people to tackle big books or to have people alongside them tackling big books and reading these big huge important influential works of literature in the world Russian and English and just to really get um, good amazing just fun experience with these works because honestly reading Tolstoy and Dickens was such a fun experience it was extremely hilarious in some cases it was so heartwarming there was so much lovely language and we just really really want to kind of share that with everyone um, above all other than just deciding who's the best author so let me give you some actual details about this book club and then I will outline kind of where we're starting with reading both of these authors 
So for some context, I should say as well, we're absolutely not experts. We're just passionate about literature and about these two authors. And we just think it would be fun to kind of have this debate um, against each other where we kind of switch who we're defending every couple of months. So we will be having live shows as well on both Carolyn's channel and my channel. So for the live show every month, we will be hosting it on the first Saturday of the next month. So for example, if we have the first book for January, our first live show is going to be on Carolyn's channel on February 6th at 2 p.m. So mark your calendars. We will have all of this information and more in story highlights on our Instagram as well as in our description box. So don't worry, it is all there. Of course, we're also gonna try to be as not biased as possible in our own personal opinions at the moment, even though we're actually both in our own lives, I guess, in Tolstoy's corner. We both prefer Tolstoy at the minute, but like I said, we're gonna be switching off who we're defending every two months. So Carolyn is going to be starting off by defending Tolstoy for the months of January and February, and I, of course, will be defending Dickens for the months of January and February, really trying to pick apart works that I think benefit him or that don't benefit him, his strengths, his weaknesses, and just defending Dickens for the first two months, and then we'll switch, and then we'll switch again, and, and I'm really excited for these arguments and debates. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be really fun. So how are we reading these two authors? We're actually gonna be taking a look at Dickens chronologically all his works are listed chronologically his novels all the way up until 2024 <laughs> Um, I don't know why that's so funny to me. And then Tolstoy's novels we are reading his novels chronologically and of course he has a, a lot less novels than Dickens but he has huge amounts of short stories so we kind of just arranged those in the way that we saw best and was the best fit so that's how we're reading Tolstoy. We also wanted people to vote on who they picked, either Dickens or Tolstoy, before our live show of that month and then after the live show of that month to see if either Carolyn or I swayed people to one side or the other. So we will be posting our polls on Instagram before the live show on our channel and then during the live show we will ask you guys to go vote near the end of it to see if anyone's opinions have changed. Um, so. So I literally have our four-year schedule right here, which can also be found in our story highlights on Instagram, but I thought I would just run over the 2021 schedule for this book club. Um, just say it out loud and it is in the description box just so you guys know. For myself, this is going to be helpful as well and I'm really, really excited because some of my most anticipated reads made it on to the 2021 Dickens versus Tolstoy, The Great Debate, TBR. So we're kicking off January right now. I've started reading it, Childhood, Boyhood, Youth by Leo Tolstoy. We're starting with Tolstoy and then we're sliding right into February with what most people consider Charles Dickens' first novel and oh boy, is it a big one. It is The Pickwick Papers. Um, yes. That is why I bought this book all those vlogs ago, but I'm really excited to read this because in terms of Dickens, I've only read Great Expectations and A Christmas Carol, so I'm really, really looking forward to see what this is going to hold. So in February and in January, it will be my job to defend good old Charles, and uh, hopefully he's not going to let me down with the Pickwick papers. So for March and April, we're going to be reading one work of Tolstoy's, his first novel. It's insane to me that this is his first novel, but it is. Um, this is really funny because Carolyn actually gifted this to me almost exactly a year ago, and um, now we're reading it together. It's been one of my most anticipated books of all time, and that is the extremely big book, War and Peace by Tolstoy. I'm so excited to get to this. I'm also very happy to have the months of March and April to read this in. I think reading it coming into the springtime is going to be really lovely and I'm just so excited for this. The only Tolstoy I've read so far in my life is Anna Karenina, so this is just going to be absolutely incredible. I feel like my whole life has been like a hallway leading up to War and Peace at the end of the hallway, so very excited, very much looking forward to those two months. In May, we're going to be reading Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. In June and July, we're also going to be taking two months to read Anna Karenina by Tolstoy. This, Carolyn is losing her mind. If you go watch her video, she's probably losing her mind about this, rereading it again for those two months, but I loved this book so much and I'm gonna have such a task defending Dickens against Anna Karenina when Carolyn takes the podium for this book because it's incredible, but really looking forward to this one as well. 
In August, we're going to be reading Nicholas Nickleby by Dickens. September, we're moving into The Resurrection by Tolstoy. October is going to be Barnaby by Dickens. November, we have The Decemberists. In December, we're going to be reading Master Humphrey's Clock by Dickens. And of course, we also threw in A Christmas Carol in December because how could we not? Um, read it in December. So that is our whole schedule for 2021. I'm not going to move much past that, but if you would like to snoop around and see what the next four years of my life hold, um, all the power to you. Like I said, it's in our Instagram highlight. Carolyn and I are very much amateurs, but we're very happy, passionate <laughs> amateurs, and um, we're really, really excited to just go on this journey together. I We've been like talking about this for months and months and months, and we're so excited to share it with you guys and have you all join us. If you guys are reading along with us, please let me know in the comments. We are so excited to have you along with us. And one of the last things I wanna mention as well is that we're also going to be sharing our annotation system for all of these works um, that we're gonna be reading and that will also be on our Instagram highlight. If you would like to follow along with our annotations, if you wanna annotate any of these works in the same way, um, and I'll of course be doing lots and lots of videos. I'll probably be doing like one separate video for each of these books, one whole expansive reading vlog for each of them because I'm just way too excited about it and I know we're both gonna have a lot to say, so yeah. I'm extremely nervous about this in our debates, but I'm also just way too excited and happy about this. So if you love Tolstoy, if you love Dickens, if you just love classical literature, if you love hearing two people argue and yell at each other, this is the book club for you. Also, make sure to let us know whose corner you stand in at the minute, um, because I think it's going to be so interesting to hear people's opinions, people's thoughts, hear you guys debate on them as well, and I'm just so excited. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, things you want to see in the live show, ideas you want us to do, um, just literally anything, let us know. If you all join us on The Great Debate, we will see you on February 6th in person. And I guess at the minute, I have my work cut out for me defending Dickens against Tolstoy for our first novel, which is Childhood, Boyhood, Youth. So I guess I will see you very soon on the debate stage and Carolyn, I'll be seeing you too. Prochè.